Welcome to Myriad Autotrack Pro 4 from P Squared Limited. Let me just give you an overview of what Autotrack will do for your station. So Autotrack follows the instructions you give it when selecting the next song, jingle, pre-recorded speech item, promo or jingle to play. You organise your song and your link library into categories and all items in each category are sorted in most rested order. These decks of tracks, the song deck, and the link deck are used by the scheduler. When selecting a track, it starts with a track on the top of the deck, deciding if it meets your scheduling criteria, which are defined on both a global rule set and then a more specific show-based rule set. If it doesn't break any rules or guides and the clock calls for it, then the song or link will be selected as the next track and makes up your station log. If it does fail at any of the stages, it is either placed back at the top of the deck, ready for next time, or following settings that you make in the rules window, at the back or randomly somewhere else in the deck, depending on what it failed on and how badly it failed. So that's the basic principle, but there are some other key tasks that you must complete before scheduling. Clocks are built to specify the number of songs, advert breaks, jingles, etc. that you want, and in what order for each hour. You also must define a number of settings to cover the rotation of the songs and the links and their characteristics too. And you must specify the sequence in which songs and link decks are examined by the scheduler from the most important to the least important. So let's just take you through the tabs here on the left hand side. You've got four main tabs which make up the main uh, auto track window here. Songs. We have the ability to add new songs to your library. Search songs, so you can search what you've already got in there. You can take a look at the song decks to see how they're doing, and you can also use that to move songs around in categories. We've got song history and artist history as well, so you can see how many times that song's been selected or how many times that artist is played on your station and the kind of average interval between those. So this is where you'd set everything for your songs. The links area is pretty similar. This is where you'd add any anything that you'd want to be scheduled that's not a song basically so a chance to add new links search for links l take a look at your link decks and also look at your link history again to see how quickly things are rotating around down into clocks here and this is where you'd set your clocks which are then um, referenced by the scheduler to make up your 24 hour long slots per day seven days a week and this is where you'd assign which clock that you've just made to which hour on which day you've got your clock rules which are rules that you set per clock you can also have a default rule on a clock so it'll use those rules and then down here global rules now this is like a, a global station-wide rule that will apply to your scheduling and uh, we'll go into all of these further on in the tutorials down here in the schedule tab and you've got the ability to view the log and make changes to it as well you can see your schedule history a chance to see where you're up to and uh, you can also use that to select an area where you'd like to actually schedule the songs into choose schedule here to schedule a date and time range unschedule unschedules your music unsurprisingly and then if you're not running with myriad playout you can use these to send to third-party playout systems of your choice so that is the basic overview now one of the benefits with the myriad auto track pro 4 is that you have total log integration which means that you can manipulate the log and you don't have to resend it through to your playout system unlike in version 3 so uh, that really is a major difference and we're also using sql as the database in the background 